Hi everyone, I was inspired to make this lathe by a video that I saw made by Izzy Swan on YouTube. I'll post a link in the description of this video. I claim no credit for the originality of this concept. I think that's Izzy's prize. As you can see, you can use a circular saw to, to uh, round off a piece of wood. I won't go into a great detail of how I made this, uh, this lathe, I'll just disassemble parts of it and you'll be able to see it's not a difficult build. The fence is interchangeable and removable. This makes it easy to use either a circular saw or a router when you're doing your cutting along there. To change the fence for the router, you loosen the carriage bolts at the back. I'll give you a better view of that. This then lowers the fence and makes it usable with the router. Drill carriage moves down this groove to adjust for different lengths of stock that you want to uh, turn. And it's tightened in place by the same carriage bolts at the back that hold the fence. This portion of the lathe is a, is a live center, uh, commonly used in uh, most wood lathes. It's just friction fit in here. And I can drive it in because the hole is slightly smaller than the taper of the uh, hole is slightly smaller than the taper of the of the uh, live center. The spur side is slightly unique. It's a normal lathe spur, except a friend turned this down to a 3 8 inch size so I could use a bearing which allows it to spin freely and gives the uh, correct size for me to chuck it into the drill bit. Like so. Just briefly show you how the drill is seated into the carriage. These are just uh, two hose clamps which hold the drill tightly in place. I drilled holes in the clamps so I could uh, fasten them to the carriage. You can remove the carriage by removing the carriage bolts from the back. And that's pretty well it.
This is the first piece I turned, and it was a real adrenaline rush uh, feeding that saw through that. So it was quite interesting, but I still have all my fingers. I'm happy about that. But I must say, it's not as dangerous as it looks. It's quite easy to hang on to the saw, so it just takes caution, but make sure that you wear safety glasses because the sawdust really flies when you're cutting with the circular saw. Without anything further, I'll show you the first cut. How about that? Amazing. Amazing. 